Hey everyone, it's Tom here from Hubble Digital and I'm here to answer the question of the week. Firstly, why should I use events in HubSpot? So by using the events, you can use these to create a funnel and by creating the event funnel, you can see where your contacts drop off at what point of the journey. And this then sort of enables you to analyze what sort of step is causing the most problems. And then when you identify that step, you can then use other tools to see what might be the problem. You can correct that and then measure it again. And once it starts increasing, you'll see if it's been solved and if it's still decreasing, it just allows you to um, alter and make improvements to essentially increase the conversion rate of the contact. And then how do I set up an event? I'll, um, I'll show you now. So here's how to create the event. Um, simply go over to reports, uh, analytics tools, Then scroll down to events. And here you want to click manage events and create event. And for the purpose of this, I'll put um, landing page um, be on this. Um, tags, if you've got a tag, so you want to tag it whilst you're creating the funnel, you'll set up a tag um, and then tag everything to do with that event. And then add that to the funnel, which I can show you after this quickly. Um, so for this landing page B, we're going to use visited URL. Next, uh, you type in the page URL, testing page B, and then save it. So you'll see here you've got um, visited landing page A, that's what I did earlier, landing page B, and that's how you create the event. And to create the funnel, um, just go back to the events tab, create event funnel. And here you can use these, so these tags, um, you can select the one, we've just got test here, so you click test, and it will bring up anyone that's um, tagged under that. Um, you can change the date ranges here, so from rolling dates, custom dates, or all data. Uh, and then choose your visual visualization. So here you would add the event landing page A, and then landing page B. So for instance, if someone's landing on landing page A, and the call to action is to click onto B, you would have, um, a is the first, um, and then B just below it. Click from report, and this is going to have with zero, but what you'd have is the amount of people that landed on A would be the full 100%, and then with landing page B, it'd be anyone that's clicked the call to action, so you'll see a little drop-off point, and that's how you would sort of measure it. So if there was a huge sort of drop-off from landing page A, which specific goal is for people to click the call to action to land on landing page B, uh, you would then look to use um, a tool like Crazy Egg or Hotjar to have a look at the UX. Maybe it's a problem with the design. Have you got too much text, too many images, too little images, too little text? Um, and you'll be able to test those pages, see which one works better, and then change it to, um, to make the goal completion higher.